It's Monday Museum Break here at the Museum of the West Texas Frontier. Today we are going to focus on two different pieces of art by the same artist. However, the medium of each is very different. Introducing Bill Chappell, a Western artist and sculptor from Seymour, Texas. Born in 1919, Bill grew up around cowboys. Armed with only a sixth grade education, Bill continually read about and tried new things. In 1939, Bill joined the Navy where he was put in charge of occupational therapy using leather crafts. After the war, he returned to Seymour where he owned a saddle and boot shop until 1953 and continued to cowboy on the side. After 1953, he had to make a choice. I had to give up ranching or art won, and the art was paying a lot more than ranching. He and his wife moved to Colorado where he pursued his passion in oil painting and bronze sculptures. The two pieces we are blessed to have in our collection highlight his artistic talents. The first piece is a bronze sculpture titled, Into the Storm. This engaging piece shows a mounted cowboy who has roped a calf, only to have the mama get her horns tangled up in the rope, which in turn makes the horse rear up. The detail in this sculpture is amazing, even down to the individual hairs on the hide of the cow. Although it is sculpted in bronze, it almost appears as a living moment in time. You can feel the predicament that the cowboy finds himself in, along with the panic of the roped calf. The next piece is one that has been featured on our Monday Museum break before. Roy Arledge's Saddle Although a saddle is a tool used by cowboys, the leather tooling on this saddle shows the artist's talent for leatherworking. The maker's mark on the seat rise is Bill Chappell's mark while he's making saddles in Seymour. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next Monday for another museum break.